Which is better, Disneyland or Disney World? You want to go to a fun dream place? Away from the real world? Oh yeah, you guessed it right. We are back here with Disneyland and Disney World. We hear a lot about Disney World, but here are some reasons to visit the Land of Enchantment. Now, here is the million dollar question. Which Disney park is superior between Disneyland and Disney World? So guys, the whole video is all about this topic. The cost, location, food, size, transport, and everything else will be disclosed in this video. Stay with us to know which destination is opening the doors of happiness for you all. Disneyland vs Disney World Size Regarding the size, the two parks could not be more dissimilar. The size of Disney World is astounding, 43 square miles. Disney World can fit roughly 51 Disneylands because Disneyland is roughly only 500 acres. Disney California Adventure Park and Disneyland Park are two separate parks located inside those 500 acres of Disneyland. The four primary parks at Disney World are Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Disney's Hollywood Studios, and Disney's Animal Kingdom. Depending on how much time you have to explore the parks, your choice can change. While it takes about a week to see everything at Disney World, you can see all the major attractions at Disneyland in a day or two. Guys, the choice is yours. Let's go for a ride. There are a few shared attractions between the two parks, including well-known rides like It's a Small World, Splash Mountain, and Pirates of the Caribbean. These rides aren't identical everywhere because each park adds its own twist to them. The total number of rides in Disney World and Disneyland is roughly 50. These rides can drive you insane and make you want to ride all day. When you see a castle, dreams can come true. The castle serves as the focal point for both theme parks. The Sleeping Beauty Castle at Disneyland is 77 feet tall, whereas the Cinderella Castle at the Magic Kingdom at Disney World is 189 feet tall, more than double the height of the Sleeping Beauty Castle. But hey, it's not a princess versus princess battle here, is it? Comfort over enjoyment. Let's see which place has more comfortable hotels to stay in, because my friend, you can't sleep in the park, right? The Disneyland Hotel, Disney's Grand Californian Hotel and Spa, and Disney's Paradise Pier Hotel are the three hotels that make up the Disneyland complex. Of course, there are also tons of non-Disney options close by or accessible by car. Meanwhile, Disney World's terrain is covered by more than 25 distinct on-property hotels. This includes luxurious villas like those at Disney's Polynesian Villas, and bungalows as well as everything from affordable lodging alternatives like Disney's Art of Animation Resort to opulent choices like the Animal Kingdom Lodge. So, you're probably planning a trip to Disney World. Hold one, we have other things as well. Where is the Land of Enchantment? This is a rather simple matter. Anaheim, California, which is roughly an hour's drive from Los Angeles, is where Disneyland is situated. The John Wayne Orange County Airport SNA is the closest airport to the park's drive from Los Angeles, is where Disneyland is situated. The John Wayne Orange County Airport SNA is the closest airport to the park, flying into and out of the larger Los Angeles International Airport, however, may provide visitors with more direct routes and airline options LAX. In Orlando, Florida, Disney World is situated on a completely different coast. Orlando International Airport MCO is the closest airport to the parks. However, flying into Tampa, TPA, or Sanford SFB airports also makes it quite simple to travel to Walt Disney World. So now that you know the address, pack your bags and run towards your destination. We mean, take a flight. Before that, you should know how many pennies you need. So the cost of your vacation is here. Are you going to pay through the nose? To be on the safe side, let's discuss the price now. Both Disney World and Disneyland use dynamic pricing for their theme parks. That implies that ticket costs change based on the time of the year, the day of the week, and other considerations. Both resorts have expensive theme park admission prices. A one-day one-park ticket will cost you more than $100 but exact costs will vary depending on when you go on vacation and whether you choose to spend extra money on Park Hopper to visit multiple parks each day. However, there are several methods to reduce the cost of a trip to Disney World or Disneyland. Hit the road with the best transportation. Both parks are usually full of people, and it is difficult to find good transportation. Let's analyze the best park for this as well. Due to its modest size, transportation within Disneyland is essentially unimportant. The park does, however, provide complimentary shuttle services to and from the parking lot. But at Disney World, the requirement for mobility is very clear. Fortunately, the park fully looks after its visitors by providing a free transportation system that can take them anywhere they need to go. This applies to all modes of transportation, 
such as buses, a ferry, gondolas, or the monorail that connects three Disney-owned hotels with two theme parks. Decide, pack your bags, and book your flight. See you at the amusement park.